this whole entire section is going to be tabbed in. Kyle von Stroberg is busy building a boat. Oh, this is all your dreams and all your hopes, and that's everything sitting right here. My guess is you're getting a sense of his passion packed into this project. This is going to change more lives than just mine. Because for this 38-year-old, this boat is charting a course to give others a second chance. I always sit there and say it's never too late to start making the right decisions because it isn't, you know, and that's, and that's the motto I live by. His wrong decisions involving drugs and petty crime <laughs> shut the door on any possibility of building a career, a life in and out of jail until 2013. While being released, a guard told him he should do something he never imagined go to college. And right then and there, we signed up for school. Skagit Valley College, who not only said welcome, but offered financial aid. And it gave me the option of figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. He graduated with three degrees and 11 certificates, <laughs> becoming a marine technician, a trade so in demand a job was waiting for him. But his rising tide was about to lift other boats. Just seeing that they believed in me, made me want to do something in return. So he tapped into a schooling and built a boat named, what else? Second Chance, and raffled it off. That endowed the scholarship and allowed the first scholarship to be presented. Scholarships for former inmates like him. Jason Cockburn, who got out of prison in 2016, was second in line to receive one. To handcraft a boat called Second Chance, so that I could have a second chance. He didn't know me from Adam. He didn't never met me before in his life. From the minute I walked onto campus and chose education as a life, um, I've never looked back. Cockburn also wants to pay it forward. <laughs> so the two men started the Second Chance Foundation. And I hope that a scholarship has impact on other people's lives. Providing eight scholarships to date and creating a support group on campus. And I don't know how many people here want to go back, because I sure as hell don't. To help others replace the title of former inmate with college grad. Uh, I don't think I can go on another step. No, you can go on. And as soon as I go on that extra step, I'm, I'm succeeding again. And you could say, look, I believe in you. I believe that you can do this. Two men bringing real change to a college campus and reminding all of us, no matter what we've done, everyone deserves a second chance. You inspire me every day. I'm proud of you. And so we honor Kyle and Jason as true change makers in our community. With help from the Skagit Valley College Foundation, the Second Chance Scholarship has grown to more than $105,000, bringing dozens of scholarships for years to come. And they're taking the support group for former inmates to other colleges, including Edmonds Community College. We know there are people in your city and town working hard to make it a better place, and we want to highlight them as well. To nominate a changemaker, just go to q13fox.com slash changemakers. That's so great. All you need is just one person.